students. <coughs> Today we have discussed so compound angles in trigonometric chapter. It is a subtopic in trigonometry. So the definition of compound angles is an algebraic sum of two or more angles two or more angles is is called compound angles is called compound and see straight I shall explain one second definition and algebraic sum of two or more angles is called a compound angle so for example let us consider a comma b comma c are three angles then we are taking a plus b okay or a plus b plus c or you can take a plus b minus c etc so these are the example of compound angles in this compound angles we have we have some basic formula so the basic formula is so the first basic formula is sine of a plus b sine of a plus b here the sum of two angles that's what is called a compound angle so the first basic formula is sine right on strings the first one is sine of a plus b is equals to sin a cos b and plus cos a sin b okay first one next the second one is sin of a minus b is, is equals to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b is the second basic form or next the third one is cos of a plus b is equals to okay so cos a cos b and minus sin a sin b see students whenever having plus sign in formula you can write to minus sign okay remember this one next the fourth formula is cos of a minus b is, is equals to cos a cos b and plus here I have minus n. That's why you can write opposite sign plus. So sin a and into sin b is the basic fourth one. Next, the fifth one is tan of a plus b is equals to tan a plus tan b 4 by 1 minus tan a into tan b. Okay, it is also a complementary formula. And the sixth one is tan of a minus b is, is equal to tan a minus tan b 4 by 1 plus tan a into tan b okay next the seventh one is cot of a plus b is equal to cot of a plus b is equal to cot a cot b and minus 1 by cot b plus cot a okay next eighth formula the eighth basic formula is cot of a minus b is equal to so cot a cot b plus 1 more by cot b minus cot a okay so these are the eight basic formulas in the compound angles Okay. By using this basic formulas, you can find the sum values of trigonometry ratios. For example, from taking one, find find the values of following. Find the values of following. The first one is sine seventy five degrees, cos seventy five degrees. Second one. The third one is tan 75 degrees and the fourth one is cot 
75 degrees. Okay, see students. First one. From beginning the first one, sine of 75 degrees is equal to. Okay. So I write this 75 degrees as 45 degrees plus 30. The sum of 45 plus 30 is. Yes. So that's why I am writing sine 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. Okay. This is called common angle because the sum of two angles. So it is equal to. See students. It is in the form of first two basic formula sine of a plus b. So we have sine of a plus b formula sine a cos b plus cos a sin b. Okay, after the formula here. Yeah. So sine 45 degrees into cos 30 degrees and plus cos 45 degrees and into sine 30 degrees. Is it right? This is a a and it is a b. Sine a cos b plus cos a sin b. Okay. Next. Already you learned in 10th class. So sine 45 degrees. How much sine 45 degrees? 1 by root 2. Is it right? Right. Next, cos 30 degrees how much? 2, 3 by 2. So I don't get values. 2, 3 by 2. Cos 45 degrees how much? Yes. 1 by root 2. And sin 30 how much? 1 by 2. Yes. Of writing their values, simplification. 1 into root 3 is equal to so much? Root 3. So root 3 divided by 2 into root 2 is equal to 2 root 2 plus 1 into 1 is equal to 1 divided by 2 into root 2 is equal to 2. Okay. Next, taking LCM. If LCM is 2 root 2. Next, simplification. Okay. So root 3 plus 1. Yes. So what is the value of sine 75 degrees? Therefore, the sine 75 degrees value is, is equal to root 3 plus 1 by this is our required value. Next, cos 75 degrees. Okay. Next, we are making cos 75 degrees is, is equal to. Okay. Shall so write again 75 degrees as 45 plus 30 degrees? Yes. So that's why I am writing cos of 45 degrees and plus 30 degrees. Now it is in the form of third formula. The third formula is Cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin b sin b. Apply that formula. You will get cos 45 degrees into cos 30 minus sin 45 degrees into sin 30 degrees. Okay. Next it is equal to cos 45 degrees how much? 1 by root 2. I got 1 by root 2 into cos 30 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2. Minus sine 45 degrees is equal to 1 by root 2. Again, sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2. Okay. Next, simplification. Root 3 into 1 is equal to root 3 divided by 2 into root 2 is equal to 2 root 2. Minus 1 by 1 by 1 by 2 root 2. Okay. Next, again, taking LCM. So, it is 2 root 2. So, therefore, root 3 minus 1. Is it clear, students? So, therefore, Cos 75 degrees is equal to so much root 3 minus 1 by 2 root 2. Okay, this is the second value. Next, we have to find the tan 75 degrees. In tan 75 degrees, so tan 75 degrees is equal to. Okay, see students, so right, tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta, is it right? So that's why I am taking tan 75 degrees is nothing but the sin 75 degrees by so cos 75 degrees so it is equal to already we find sin 75 degrees in previous value is root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2 so 4 by cos 75 degrees is equal to root 3 minus 1 by so 2 root 2 so 2 root 2 2 root 2 cancels next it is equal to root 3 plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 Friends, what is the rationalizing factor of root 3 minus 1? Root 3 plus 1. So, therefore, rationalizing. So, denominator part root 3 plus 1 by 1 and dividing. It is equal to root 3 plus 1 into root 3 plus 1. So, it is becomes root 3 plus 1 whole square. Whole by how it is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. A square minus b square. It is becomes 3 minus 1 is equal to so much 2. Yes, it is equal to. Now it is in the form of a plus b whole square expired. So root 3 whole square is equal to 3, 1 square is equal to 1 plus 
2 into root 3 into 1 becomes 2 root 3 4 by 2 that is equals to 3 plus 1 how much? 4 and I'm making 2 be the common 2 is the common 3 plus 1 how much? 4 in this 4 here I am taking 2 comma the remaining one is 2 plus 2 3 4 by 2 2 to cancel so therefore so what is the value of so times 7 by degrees 2 plus 2 3 is the times 7 by degrees next the last fourth one the fourth one is cot 75 degrees this says so right cot theta is nothing but 1 by tan theta yes so that's why cos 75 is equal to nothing but 1 by tan 75 degrees correct. It is equal to 1 by already we find tan 75 how much? 2 plus root 3. Okay. Right, right. So 2 plus 2 3. Again, H is in the denominator part. So that's why. So 2 minus 2 3 by 2 minus 2 root 3. So 4 by 2 minus 2 root 3 by Again, one equation here a plus b a table in the form by square minus x square 2 to the 4. 4 minus 3. So therefore, 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So that's why 2 minus root 3 is the value of cot 75 degrees. Okay. It's the concept of compound angles. Okay. Now we can solve some problems in this section. So the first problem is so simplify cos 100 degrees into cos 40 degrees plus sin 100 degrees into sin 40 degrees. Okay. See students, let us consider. Okay. Let us consider. Here I'm taking capital A is equal to 100 degrees and capital B is equal to 40 degrees. Here I'm assuming A is equal to 100 degrees and B is equal to 40 degrees. Okay. Now the given problem is becomes cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. Okay, is a formula for cos of A minus B. Is it? it? Yes, you can have this formula. So put A is equal to 100 degrees and B is equal to 40 degrees. Now cos 100 degrees into cos 40 degrees plus sin 100 degrees into sin 40 degrees is, is equal to so cos of putting a is equal to 100 degrees so 100 degrees minus 40 degrees 100 minus 40 how much? 60 so therefore cos 60 degrees ok yes students what are we learned in 10th class what is the value of cos 60 degrees 1 by 3 plus so therefore the value of cos 100 into cos 40 plus sin 100 into sin 40 will be equal to much and that is the answer. Okay, so next to second problem. To prove that sin square 52 and half degrees minus sin square 22 and half degrees is equal to root 3 plus 1 by 4. Okay, see students. Let us consider, okay. Let angle A is equal to 52 and half degrees. You can assume that A is equal to 52 and half degrees. And capital B is equal to 22 and half degrees. Okay, 22 and half degrees. Now, we have the formula sine square A minus sine square B is, is equal to sine of a plus b into sine of a minus b this is the basic formula okay just like a plus b into a minus b equals to a square minus b square okay so a put a is equals to 52 and a half degrees so sine square of 52 and a half degrees minus sine square of 22 and a half degrees is equals to so sine of right now a is equals to 52 and a half degrees and plus B is equal to 22 and a half degrees. So 22 and a half degrees into sine of 52 and a half degrees minus 22 and a half degrees. Okay, next. So 52 and a half degrees plus 24 and a half degrees for more strength, 75 degrees. Okay, so therefore sine 75 degrees into next. 
52 and half minus 24 and half how much? 30 degrees. So that's what I write. Sine 30 degrees. Okay. Yes. Already. So we know that the value of sine 75. How much sine 75? Yes. So root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 3 is the value of sine 75 degrees. Next sine 30 how much? 1 by 2. Yes. Okay. Of writing their values, simplification. Root 3 plus 1 into 1 is equal to root 3 plus 1 by 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to how much? 4 into root 2. Yes. Hence, the RHS part is root 3 plus 1 by 4 root is equal to Yes, friends, it is very, very important. So, for 4 marks, 4 marks part of it is. So, here, if a plus b is equal to 45 degrees. Then prove that the first bit is 1 plus tan a into 1 plus tan b is equal to 2. Because so the value of this LHS value is equal to 2. Next to second value. Cot a minus 1 into cot b minus 1 is equal to 2. Okay. So first one. Come to the given part here condition a plus b is equal to 45 degrees. So here I'm making. So given that a plus B is equal to 45 degrees. See students, here the first bit is tan terms. That's why you can apply the tan term, tan ratio on both sides. Okay. So here I'm applying, applying tan function on both sides. Okay. Therefore, you get tan of A plus B is, is equal to so tan of 45 degrees. So tan of a plus b formula, yes. So tan a plus tan b. So 4 by 1 minus tan a into tan b. So it is equal to tan 45 how much? 1. So I don't know. Next. So doing cross multiplication here. So we cross multiplication. Okay. Next we we'll get tan a plus tan b is, is equal to 1 minus tan a into tan b into 1 is equal to you get 1 minus tan a into tan b next taking this minus tan a tan b into LHS side therefore you get so tan a plus tan b plus so tan a into tan b is, is equal to 1 let us consider equation number 1. Okay. Next. Now, we have to prove the first one is, what is the first one? 1 plus tan A into 1 plus tan B value is 2. We have to prove that it is equal to 2. Next, multiply both these terms. 1 into 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 into tan B tan B. Next plus tan A into 1 is equal to tan A and plus tan A into tan B tan A tan B tan A into tan B okay so yes. okay. <coughs> you observe the first equation tan A plus tan B plus tan A into tan B how much? 1 this value is equal to 1 see, see here tan B into tan A plus tan A tan B from here to here this total value is equal to much 1 as it is 1 so therefore, 1 plus this value 1 according to equation number 1. So therefore, 1 plus 1 is equal to much 2. Yes, hence the RHS side part is 2. Students, next try yourself the second one. The same process, okay, but we have to apply here cot function on both sides and to prove the RHS value is equal to 2.